The Good Fight, America's Ongoing Struggle for Justice, is a tribute to the civil rights movement of the past century, highlighting many successes and identifying areas that still need work. As seen through the eyes of the world's leading photographers, this book helps put today into perspective. Joining me this morning are the book's collaborators, Jonathan Greenblatt of the Anti-Defamation League and author Rick Smolin. Good morning, gentlemen. Hi Kelly, how are you? Great. So why is the Good Fight book so important and so relevant in today's society? I'll, I'll let Jonathan take that one. <laughs> so we started talking about this book two years ago because I was beginning as the new CEO at the ADL and wanted to learn about civil rights struggles and couldn't find one book that talked about the links and demonstrated the shared issues between African Americans, women, Jews, Muslims, Latinos, the LGBTQ, I could go on. Basically, what we know about this country is we've sought to be a more perfect union over the centuries, but couldn't find one work that put all those different struggles together. And then I reached out to my friend Rick. So there's a lot of stirring images, as we saw in here, and moving essays. Uh, how do those advance our discussion on civil rights and legal protections for all groups? Well, you know, I think what we're trying to do is um, when you say, to, when, when, we all, when, we wake, when we wake up every day and we look at the news, it looks like America's falling apart. It just looks like our country is disintegrating in front of us. And what we wanted to do with this book is to remind people how much progress we've made over the last hundred years, how many different groups, how many individuals have fought for the right to be treated fairly, uh, to live. Uh, we wanted to get closer to the ideals of our forefathers, of a country where regardless of your background or your religious belief or your gender, that we all have the same opportunities to succeed in life in America. So if you ask somebody who's a woman or gay or black or Jewish or Muslim or Native American or disabled or, or, or any one of these different groups we focus on in the book, would you rather be in 1917 or 2017? The immediate answer is, well, you put it that way, definitely today, which by no means are we saying that all of our problems are solved. But we want to remind people of how, fought, how hard all of us have fought to be where we are today. What's at stake right now what's, with what's happening in, in Washington and why each of us needs to take responsibility to actually do something about this. And so I think there was a photograph that came across the screen a minute ago of the Women's March in Washington the day after Trump's election. And it says that last year, in 2016, 800 women said they're going to run for office. This year, 11,000 women are running for office. So I think people are waking up. There's this... Uh, expression woke, which I love, which is like a lot of us are realizing we can't be complacent and that we each need, we each need to do something to actually uh, fight to, to keep America moving in the right direction. Now, unfortunately, we only have about 30 seconds, but this is such an important topic. Uh, how widespread is cyber hate and why is it so dangerous? So hyper, cyber hate is certainly a challenge. I mean, we, today, the front line in the fight against hate is on Facebook where there are over two billion people using the platform. And it's unfortunate that bigots and haters, white supremacists and the so-called alt-right have exploited Facebook and Twitter and Google to really spread their poison in a way they couldn't previously do in the public square. So at the ADL, we've been fighting bigotry and all forms of hate for over 100 years. We're opening a new center in Silicon Valley this month in order to tackle the challenge of cyber hate in order to do more with the companies, and telling our story online and offline, through the web and through books like this one, demonstrate, I think, to the country that as hate crimes are rising, all of us have a shared stake. Whether you're a liberal or a conservative, Republican or Democrat, all of us have a shared stake in fighting hate. And where can we go for more information on what we discussed today? Well, the book is available at Amazon and Barnes & Noble. It ought to be a $100 book, but it's, it's selling for about $26 on Amazon, which we're thrilled. In fact, we were just talking about the fact that it's almost sold out, which we never expected. Um, there's also a website, thegoodfightbook.org, where you can learn more about the book. And uh, it's a great conversation starter. It's also smartphone enabled, so you can point your smartphone at 60 different pictures in the book, and it plays TED Talks and YouTube videos to give you a more in-depth uh, understanding of each story in the book. Thanks so much for your time this morning, gentlemen. Thank you. Thanks, Kelly.